Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Cloud Deep Dive. In today's video, we will talk about Amazon Aurora Endpoints. And endpoints are used to connect your DB instances. There are four different types of endpoints, cluster endpoint, reader endpoint, custom endpoint, and instance endpoint. So let's start with the cluster endpoint. A cluster endpoint for an Amazon Aurora DB cluster connects you to the current primary DB instance of that DB cluster. If we talk about single master cluster type, this is the only endpoint which can perform write operations for you. This endpoint can also do some read operations, but as you know that we have a dedicated endpoint for the read queries. So we avoid using this particular endpoint to do any read operations. So if I show you, I have created uh, a single master DB cluster. And in that you can see that we have two endpoints. One is your writer endpoint. This is also known as your cluster endpoint and it performs all your write operations. Now you can also use it to read operations, but because we have a dedicated reader uh, endpoint for this cluster, so we don't use this for your read queries. Now, what will happen in case of any failover? So right now your cluster endpoint will always point to your writer node so that you can perform your write operations. But in case of failover, one of the read replica will be promoted to writer node. So your cluster endpoint will start pointing to the new writer node. And it happens behind the scene because this cluster endpoint is kind of a DNS provided to you. So whenever this failover happened, Amazon Aurora will automatically point this DNS from failed uh, writer node to your new writer node. Now, in case of multi-master cluster endpoint, it always points to the DB instance with read and write capability. But as you know that in case of multi-master cluster endpoint, the application in multi-master cluster typically include a logic to manage connections to a specific DB instance. So you rarely need to use this endpoint uh, because you will have different endpoints which will be connecting or which you'll be using through your application to connect to a particular DB instance and mostly it's used for to perform your administrative task. So next we have our reader endpoint. So for multi-master cluster, let's first talk about that. You don't have any dedicated reader endpoint in that because you have multiple writer nodes only which perform your uh, both read and write queries. So you don't get any dedicated reader endpoint. You, are, you get one writer or multiple writer endpoints which you use to connect to those DB instance, but you don't have any reader endpoint. Now, if you talk about single master uh, cluster, in that case, you get a one, you get one dedicated reader endpoint and which perform the load balance between all your read replicas. In this case, in the diagram, I'm showing two read replicas and one endpoint will connect to both of them. And whenever any query will come or transit connection will come, it will load balance between these two read replica and in case you have multiple read replica it will load balance between all those read replicas now what will happen if you have only one node you don't have any read replica so in that case your reader endpoint will again connect to your master in writer node only so your cluster endpoint and reader endpoint both will be pointing to your writer node to perform your read and write queries next we have custom endpoint so both multi-master and single master, they both support custom endpoints. So a custom endpoint for an Amazon Aurora cluster represents a set of DB instances that you choose. So when you connect to that particular custom endpoint, Aurora perform load balancing and choose one of the instances in the group which you decided to handle the connection and return the IP address of a different DB instance each time. Now the question arises why you need custom endpoint and how you can create one. So let's first talk about why you need it. So these custom endpoints are useful to segregate the traffic. Say you have, you may have, uh, or you may want to create a custom endpoint for internal users to perform ad hoc activity using some low capacity instances, right? So you can create some read replicas which have uh, low CPU utilization or kind of low CPU you want to use is supposed to be T3 or T2 and you create a custom endpoint by using those read replica to perform your ad hoc activities. Now, how you can create one. So for that, we'll go to the console and under endpoints, you can select create and custom endpoints. First, you will give a name test. Now, right now I have only uh, two, only one writer and one reader. Suppose you have multiple reader nodes. 
so you can select one or two or three data not there depending upon your use case so suppose i'm selecting this one and i can click on create endpoints so that way i can group few of the reader nodes and create a different endpoint custom endpoint and that endpoint will load balance the traffic between those selected nodes only and in case you want to say that any future instance which is added to the cluster should be part of that custom endpoint you can do that as well so by default you don't have any cluster endpoint but you can create and you can create up to five cluster endpoints now in case of multi master cluster uh, custom endpoint now you might be thinking that we have multiple writer nodes and we can create a custom endpoint um, including two or three db instances to perform my read and write operations yes you can do that but it's not recommended that you use the write operations by using this custom endpoint because custom endpoint will load balance between these two these all this um, a write operation between these db instances and which can increase the chances of your write conflicts so yes for read queries the custom endpoints are good but if you are trying to do it for the write operations with the multi master it can um, increase your write conflicts so keep that in mind before you do that so our last endpoint is the instance endpoint this type of endpoint connects to a specific db ins instance so the instance endpoint provide you the direct control over the connection to the db cluster and it can be used for scenarios where you are using the cluster endpoint or reader endpoint might not be appropriate like uh, if we talk about amazon aurora multi master your application typically have the logic to load balance between all these db instances so there you use uh, instance endpoint only for all the connections but in case of your single master cluster you have your cluster endpoint the reader endpoint which do all the things and you hardly use your instance endpoint so the way you use your instance endpoint between your single master and multi master is totally different because multi master all the operations are done by using your instance endpoint whereas in your single master your all the operations are done by your reader and your cluster endpoint in the last i want to show you one table which i Uh, put together that cluster endpoint you have for both single master and multi master but in cluster endpoint for single master you mostly perform write operations even though it has capability to do read but you use it for write operations but in multi master you can do both read and write uh, queries but you hardly use the cluster endpoint you don't have any reader endpoint for multi master you do have custom endpoint for both and instance endpoint is also there for both but in single master you hardly use it for specific scenarios but in multi master you use it for your read and write operations so that's all about amazon aurora endpoints guys uh, let me know if you have any question please do like and share this video with your friends and uh, please do subscribe to our channel press on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you so much for watching bye